Hello, everyone. I'm News Now from Fox host Regina Gonzalez, joined today by Senior Vice President of AAA Travel, Paula Twydale. How are you today, Ms. Twydale? I'm doing very well, thank you. Great to hear. Well, thank you for joining us. Today, we're talking about traveling during a global pandemic. Obviously, we're living in very unprecedented times right now. So, you know, how are people in America really making do for their travel plans during this time? Well, everyone is sort of spur of the moment right now, uh, looking at uh, near-end opportunities. And, and the good news is that really 67% of the Americans will travel before the end of the year. So no one's really kind of holding back. Uh, it's just a little bit closer in. And 80% of those trips will be road trips closer to home. Now, with road trips being a huge travel plan for this year, how has this made use of AAA's websites and planning tools? Well, people, consumer confidence is, is key, right? So people really want to feel safe and they want to be cautious when they go. So they're cautiously optimistic. So they can take advantage of going to AAA.com and accessing our, our trip ticks planner, which gives them an opportunity to plan their trip from start to finish and any stops in between. And also we have a COVID map to show you what's closed for borders and a lot of great tips on there to explore and, and put a nice trip together. So you can kind of curate your own experience. That's great. Now, when they're hopping in their car, I read that, you know, people are trying to go to locations and destinations where it might be more, it might be easier to social distance. So where has AAA found that people are traveling to this year? Well, it seems the high propensity of travel really if on the road trip is really the great outdoors. So anything parks and national parks uh, everywhere have been uh, extremely um, uh, advantageous for people to go. But destinations like Denver, Las Vegas, Los Angeles, San Diego, Phoenix, really Western areas, then the beach areas like Myrtle Beach, uh, you know, so in, in places like Keystone, Mount Rushmore, things that are that are authentic to, to the U.S. And, and a wide place to uh, go out and roam and be able to uh, see places that you probably haven't had an opportunity to see to say, wow, I didn't really even know that existed, you know, so really enjoying the outdoors is what everyone's doing. Now, what should travelers know before they go, especially during a pandemic? Well, well, anytime really, but in a pandemic, especially planning ahead, you know, call ahead to the hotels, <clears throat> make those reservations, know what's open, understand the safety and security protocols, the cleanliness, and a lot of great hotels that we work with, major hotel um, partners that have great cleaning protocols. And you can look at all of that ahead of time. And also if you're in a vehicle, if you're using your own vehicle, making sure that you take advantage of going to a AAA approved auto repair to make sure your vehicle's roadworthy. And we always say, make it your best bet. Look at your battery, emissions, and tires before you hit the road. If you don't want to use your own vehicle, you can rent, rent a car. And you know we have a great relationship, longtime partnership with Hertz, and they have a gold clean standard, which they actually seal the car after they clean it. So you're really taking those extra precautions to have a safe and roadworthy and great experience. Nothing to, to hamper your experience out there. Now, with many people hitting the roads, does AAA know much about how this is impacting air travel at this time? Yeah, well, you know, like I said, more people are taking to, to road trips. However, the good news is that the TSA has just reported they had their highest uh, uh, numbers, not about 984,000, I think it was, that they, they secured through the TSA checkpoints, and that's their highest, highest number since March. The second highest was over the Labor Day weekend, which is right around 980,000. So it pales into comparison during pre-COVID uh, pandemic, but it, the good news is it's, it's actually increasing, which means more people are taking to the skies, and we're seeing things every day. There was articles out today uh, about cleanliness and, and air uh, recirculation on aircraft and what they're doing and the likelihood of getting sick on an air, uh, aircraft when people are wearing masks and airlines are taking these precautions. So I would encourage people to, to really do your homework, but feel safe out there. Do it, do it respectfully and it's a personal decision, but a lot more people are taking to the skies. Absolutely. Well, is there anything else you'd like to add? 
Well, I would say consult your AAA travel agent. They're always there to help you. They're knowledgeable. They can advocate for you and they can plan ahead. And they're so experienced. So don't hesitate. Our members are able to secure our AAA travel agents to help plan their trips. And that's the way to go because we make it hassle free. So enjoy yourself and get out there and smell the roses. If you're on the road, gas prices are at least 50 cents lower than last year. So there's so many opportunities. And if you're flying to see your loved ones, just do it safely. So enjoy yourself. Great. Well, thank you so much for your time today, Ms. Twydale. Great. Thank you. Thanks for having me.